Thank you, Cheryl and Laurel, for Schubert's Ave Maria. Welcome, friends. Welcome to our time of contemplative communion as we gather as First Church of Christ and Mansfield Congregational United Church of Christ, where we boldly proclaim that no matter who you are or where you are on life's journey, you are indeed welcome here. So let us enter into this place for a moment of quiet, a moment of inspiration, a moment of insight. Let us give ourselves over to God's sensitive stewardship. As we listen to our scripture for the first time, I invite you to consider a word or a phrase that stands out to you. If you wish, please enter that word or phrase in the comments section with the number one followed by that word or that phrase. <clears throat> Jesus said, Very truly I tell you, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold by the gate, but climbs in by another way is a thief and a bandit. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought them out all his own, he goes ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they know his voice. They will not follow the stranger, but they will run from him because they do not know the voice of strangers. Jesus used this as a figure of speech with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So again, Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and bandits, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters by me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes in only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they might have life and have it abundantly. As we listen to the scripture for a second time, I invite any prayer or call to action that arises from your listening. And if you wish, you can enter into the comment section the number two followed by that prayer or by that call to action. Jesus said, Very truly I tell you, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold by the gate but climbs in by another way is a thief and a bandit. The one who enters in by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes in ahead of them, and the sheep follow because they know his voice. They will not follow a stranger, but they will run from him because they do not know the voice of strangers. Jesus used this as a figure of speech with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So again, Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and bandits, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters by me will be saved, and will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes in only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that all may have life and have it abundantly.
As we listen to this scripture for a third and final time, I invite God to speak into your hearts and into the silence that we create together. Jesus said, Very truly I tell you, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold by the gate but climbs in by another way is a thief and a bandit. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him and the sheep hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes in ahead of them, and the sheep follow because they know his voice. They will not follow a stranger, but they will run from him because they do not know the voice of the strangers. Jesus used this as a figure of speech with them, but they did not understand what he was saying. So again, Jesus said to them, Very truly, I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and bandits, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters by me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that all may have life and have it abundantly. Friends, let us pray in the words that Jesus taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Friends, Christ is with us here. Therefore, let us open up our hearts to God and to one another, giving thanks to the Spirit with joy. Holy God, we thank you. We praise you. We glorify you. For you have called us from our wilderness and our wandering to this place, where you feed us with your word and fill us with your Spirit. We thank you. We praise you. We glorify you. For Jesus Christ, the Lamb who takes away all sin, the shepherd who leads us in your way of truth and life. We remember that on the night of betrayal and desertion, Jesus took bread and cup, gave you thanks, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take and eat. Take and drink. Do this and remember me. We thank you. We praise you, we glorify you, for by the power of your Holy Spirit you make us one, one in the bread and cup we share, one in the body and blood of Christ, one in the great cloud of witnesses, one in the church in every place, one in Jesus' work of justice and compassion. We thank you, we praise you, we glorify you, now and forever. Amen. Friends, this is the bread of life and the cup of blessing. As our gathering has been blessed, so may our sending be blessed also. Friends, let us go forth in peace. <laughs>